Okay, guys, these are the things we are going going to need. We will need one chest, one bucket of water, three dispensers, one kabobolator. We will need one Higgs boson, one flux capacitator, one brown head lady. We need a particle accelerator. We need a lady. And we. <laughs> I'm sorry. She got me like. Guys, do I really need an introduction? I am Sarah from 190, the famous YouTuber. Welcome to my channel. If you're here, then you're here, and that's a good thing. This is my own design. It's an automatic seed capturing device. It also grows flowers and all types of things. In the daytime, the red light will turn on. That's to indicate the water. The green light indicates the flowering of the transgressions of the faction, which is bone meal, basically. And at night time, as you will see here guys, it will actually deactivate the water flow. Now this happens to protect the grass blocks. It will stop the grass blocks from becoming dirt blocks. Rending, re lending and rendering it completely useless guys. It's completely useless. So it works well because I have a contraption that defeats this problem. So let's see, in the day it goes green, floods. When the red light turns on, it's done. And it's completely afk like you can just go away you don't have to stay and it will just do it for free you don't have to pay the only thing you do have to do is restock your bone meal and that's easily done guys it's surprisingly easy as you just chuck the bone meal into this chest this is a very clever design shout out to sarah from one i know you're a mofo i like you very much stone skills here i'll show you what i mean let's watch this and fast forward it's very handy, this thing, and at night, like I said, it will deactivate the water. Saving the, the grass blocks, okay, so... You see, guys? Anything's possible in Minecraft. There we go. Very nice thumbnail right there, I think. And it's 100% efficient, too. So this is Lord Redstone's little uh, contraption thing here. Now, this is a timer, basically. I'm very impressed with this timer, because... As you know, timers can usually use pistons and, and redstone blocks and all types of hoppers and contraptions. But And shout out to Lord Redstone as well, because I'm actually factually using one of his own red, redstone skills. He showed me this one time in his world, and I was very impressed. And as you can see, it's very low on resource, and it will just go off randomly throughout the day. Hey guys, these are the things we are going to need. We will need one chest, one bucket of water, three dispensers, we will need nine hoppers, one button, and we will need 17 repeaters, we will need 17 repeaters, we will need one dirt block and a sticky piston, a daylight center, and let's not forget a block of chives. Okay guys, let's collect all those items and let's get cracking on with the tutorial. Now, let's keep showing the basics of this thing. So all that's really happening guys is that we have a chest right here with hoppers connecting into it from the water flow from a dispenser and also the dispenser also will react with the seed which I call bone meal okay so let's put the hopper into each other like this you can see how it's done here very simple design guys I'm simply making a line here like this with hoppers very low on resources the main things we're going to need are hoppers and redstone dust some repeaters and a chest and a block of choice and a water bucket that's basically it so now you can see here I have a full on line here so let's uh, just tidy this up a bit with a bit of experimenting you'll find that you might or may need it bigger or smaller so here I'm not doing exact anything exact guys you can do it any way you wish but this is a basic idea now this chest here will have some hoppers underneath so that when you were to put the bone meal inside of that chest it will simply carry the bone meal all the way to the dispenser so let's do that now real quick you can see I'm having a bit of difficulty here but that's okay um, so yeah I'm gonna have a hopper straight underneath this hopper from that chest into the next hopper so as you can see here you can probably tell by now that this is actually not for the bone meal <laughs> this is actually I'll show you the one for the bone meal it's a little further down this one here is for the bone meal so that's the one that's going to shoot the bone meal up. It's a dispenser, and it will shoot past this grass block. If you break a few blocks aside here like this, you'll give yourself enough room 
to meet back with these hoppers here. So let's connect them up. Under here will be that contraption Lord Redstone has made. So this is the automatic timer. So let's get that set up. What you want to do is put a torch here like this with a block on top and cover that up like this with some redstone going across it and one up. Break these blocks. Oh, hang on a second. We'll break it. Break it here, guys. And put the redstone like that. You'll see it will start flashing. That's practically it, guys. It's practically it. Um, to reassure it, though, to make sure it won't uh, glitch out, I will add just a little bit more like this. I found this to be very uh, handy, this design here, this number 8 here. And then I simply drag the redstone up into the dispenser for the bone mill. Now that's how that connects here. So let's just find a way to connect that. I'm simply just going to put a redstone repeater into it like this, and then carry on the redstone past it like that. So let's just make sure that this thing here is working. Oh yeah, there you go. It's working, guys. It's completely AFK. So this signal will get sent through randomly throughout the day, quite often too. And now the bone mill, you will see the contraption here, will shoot up, and then this redstone will carry the power past the dispenser. So let's see what happens now. What's Seraphim going to do? So he's put a dispenser here like this, as you can see. And now all he wants to do is basically connect the redstone dust up onto that dispenser. This really isn't very difficult. But Seraphim seems to have difficulty trying to get it together like this. But he will work it out. Let me show you, because this video would not be out unless Seraphim worked it out. And let me tell you something about Seraphim. He always works it out. Okay, so he has a redstone repeater going in there on no ticks, straight into the block. On top of that block is the dispenser that will carry our water flow. Here you'll see I broke a hole and I put redstone down. You won't know why just yet, but you'll find out soon as Seraphim continues. Seraphim's now connected the redstone dust into a whole bunch of repeaters here coming out from that. Why? Because he wants to slow down the power just a little bit so he can make the dispenser with the water bucket tick twice. The reason why is because he wants the water bucket to stop flowing after it has already gotten rid of all the seed and the loot. So what he's done here is put a whole bunch of repeaters, as many as you guys feel that you need, to slow down that tick just a little bit and make it come back into the same dispenser to give it two ticks. Very simple. So basically he's just going to get a redstone or on top of that block right there like that. There we go. So it ticked once and it will come around and tick twice. Once you have it ticking twice like this, as you will notice, that went off on its own as well. So we're on the right track so far. Now for the night sensor, we don't want the water destroying the grass blocks at night time. It will, and it will turn it into dirt and render it useless, like I said before. So what we want to do is put a block here just next to the redstone so it will cut it off with a piston. And we're going to simply connect this sticky piston behind that block like so. And we're going to bring out some redstone all the way into a daylight sensor. Let's make it go out at least more than seven blocks or so. Put down the sensor and click on it once to make it a night sensor. So at night time, that charge will go past those two blocks that aren't charged, like this, activating the piston, cutting off the circulation. As you can see here, I've actually done a mistake. We need it one block over because I want to be able to cut this off as well, not just the second tick, but both ticks. So let's break a hole here. I'm sorry about that. Put it right, just, just move it over one block like this. Do the exact same thing, but just move it all over, just one. Reconnect the, light, the night sensor and the piston, and it's back to how it should be. There we go. This way it will cut off both signals, completely cutting off that dispenser altogether at night time only. Now all we need to do is cover up these blocks here like this. And we're practically done, guys. It's amazing. So let's do it in fast forward. So it's, yeah, it's not difficult to cover this up. Try not to break any of the redstone. You guys can do it any way you want. You can try to even make this a smaller build or a bigger build. It's totally up to you. You can see here I'm having trouble trying to cover this up here. I think I might use a half slab. The reason why, I don't know, because I, I've got the redstone block. This is the red, uh, Lord Redstone's motor. This is the timer here, the random timer. I don't really want to break it. See, I can't go any deeper, guys, because I'm on the super flat land. You guys probably can, but I can't. So I have to actually sort of alter this design a lot more than I want. 
So if you're on a super flat land too, uh, you might want to do this, but on survival you don't have to worry, just dig that down a little deeper. But because I can't do that, I'm just going to build on top of it, so to, yeah, just ignore that. As you can see, I'm just putting everything one block high. Even the dispensers, the chests, the hoppers, the redstone work, everything went up one block because I'm on super flat land. Which I'm assuming you're not because you would be wanting to use this for survival. I, I don't know, maybe. If this is any good. I like this. I like it because it, it works. It, it actually works, guys. So if you're having trouble with Lord Redstone's uh, automatic random timer, I suggest you use the old fashioned piston timer. You can change it if you want. Uh, I just wanted it more compact and less resources, basically. Alright, so I've basically just pushed everything up one block and I've recovered it back to normal. I'm now putting half slabs around the border to stop the water flow from destroying the redstone. I'm now going to put a water bucket in this eventually. I might have it go up one block as well. Like this. Okay, now we're, we're cooking with gas. Uh, quoted by Skippy6Gaming. He's a very wise man, he has many wise quotes. Go check out his channel. Why am I giving him a shout out? I don't know. It's an epic channel. I also would like to give a shout out to Chief KO. Now check this guy out. He's got pink hair. It's hilarious. And he's a really nice guy. But um, yeah, I get most of my ideas from Lord Redstone and Skippy Six Gaming because these guys are geniuses. I like to implement a lot of their ideas into different designs. And I come up with my own designs based on these. Things. So this is how I've uh, come up with this. True story. Okay, so I've now moved Lord Redstone's little contraption a little bit over. I've put the lamp back under just like we did before. You can see here I've just simply connected some glowstone. Now this is very easy. I'm not even going to show you how that's done. You guys can work that out. Because you literally just place it down next to the redstone that you want to indicate. That's it. Um, you'll see next to my dispenser up the back there, I've got a button next to it. That's to reset this contraption if it goes out of sync for any reason whatsoever. For example, if you have water coming out when you don't want water coming out, just press that button and it should reset. Okay, I'm just filling up the gaps here. Make sure you've got a half slab above that chest so you can open it. I'm going to put blocks in the corner just to propel the water forward a little bit. Uh, that should work, guys. Also keep in mind, the redstone's just under there, so let's just click that to reset the cycle so you want the water to be off before it shoots out the bone mill. So now I've got that going, I'm going to put half slabs over the top of this. Like so. And if you want to activate this on your own without having to wait, it's very easy guys. All you need to do is get out a button and then you want to place that button down in the middle of the grass, just down there, because there should be redstone right under it. Maybe not that one, but this one. So if it's not working for any reason, if it's lagged out or something, you can reset it just by pressing this button right here, guys. There we go. You can even leave the button there and the water will just carry it all into the hopper, straight back into your chest for later. You can see you get trapped in the corners here, guys. Just break those away and add another hopper into the hoppers to make it 100% efficient. 100% AFK. And that's about it. That's how Seraphim rolls, guys. He rolls. He literally rolls. Okay, we've done it, guys. Let's uh, test this out one more time. And let's see if it turns itself off with the second tick. There it is. Poi effect. I like it. I'm impressed, guys. If you're impressed too, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel because it makes me happy, motivates me. Trust me, guys. It's the, it's the case. It's like... It's a good thing to click on it, I think. That's what they say. So at night time, the light will turn on for the night, and it will prevent the water from destroying until the daytime again. It's a perfect design. I think it's pretty perfect, guys. I will try to shrink this down a little bit more in the future and come up with other things for you guys. I have many tutorials for you guys to check out. Do it. Peace out. Sarah Frank. That? Okay guys, these are the things we are going, going to need. We will need one chest, one bucket of water, three dispensers, one bubbleator, we will need one Higgs boson, one flux capacitator, we will, a capacitator, we need a little, one brown head lady, we need a particle accelerator, we need a lady, and we... <laughs> Okay guys, these are the things we are going to need. We will need one chest, one bucket of water, three dispensers, we will need nine hoppers, one button. <laughs> Thank you.
Have you ever just walked down the street and asked yourself, why can't I fly? There is a very simple reason. Because you can't! But if you've ever walked down the street and had a hot sip of cocoa and burnt yourself, you'll notice two things. One, it's not possible to fly. Two, is it? The answer is yes! Yes, it is!